Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrich Vox, and how old is Steven Universe? It seems like not too long ago, we were just getting acquainted with 16-year-old Steven. Rocking his neck, pink varsity jacket, and light blue shirt. After having the adorable itty bitty chibi Steven for years, it was nice to finally see him grow up. However, is he growing up a bit too fast? If you've been around in the Steven Universe community lately, you may have noticed that Steven is now declared 17 years old as of the Steven Universe future episode Snow Day. But uh, what? Where did that come from? Nowhere in that episode does Steven state he's now a year older. So as far as we're concerned, he should still be 16. Well, that's where we look at context clues. The little easter eggs and details in Steven Universe that indicates where we currently are in the timeline. Because I strongly believe that by the end of Steven Universe future, Steven will officially be a legally adult by turning 18 years old. In fact, we're closer than ever. It almost feels inevitable. Inevitable. So with all that said, let's dive in. Thank you to Dashlane for being today's sponsor. Keeping track of passwords can be a bit of a challenge for one reason or another. Luckily, Dashlane is an all-in-one codebreaker that manages those passwords and fights the good fight of internet privacy. Dashlane saves and autofills your passwords, personal information, and credit card numbers, which in return makes logging in, shopping online, or filling out forms a lot easier. No need to click forgot password and endorse little questions you forgot you set years ago. Dashlane works practically on everything. PC, phones, including Apple and Android, and even Google Chrome. My favorite part is the VPN included that keeps your information safe, allowing you to browse safely on unsecure Wi-Fi networks, and Dashlane even offers dark web monitoring, which alerts you if your personal information is found leaked on the dark web in the clutches of hackers or scammers. And if Dashlane itself got hacked, no worries. Dashlane stores and decrypts everything on your device using your master password. So even if someone did hack Dashlane, they'd be breaking into a bank without being able to open any of the vaults. Try Dashlane completely free on your first device for a lifetime using only our link down below and automatically get a 30-day free trial of Dashlane Premium. No credit card required at sign up. Now to understand Steven's current age, we have to understand how old he was in the beginning of the series, which was 12 years old. We know this because of the episode Steven's birthday in which he turns 14 alongside the annual event, Beach of Palooza. For Steven to turn 14 in Steven's birthday means that he was 13 prior. One of the episodes before Steven's birthday and the entire barn arc was Sadie's song, where the characters remarked that Beach of Palooza has arrived once more, placing it as a full year since the previous Palooza, with the episode Steven and the Steven. For Steven to be 13 in Sadie's song, which takes place a full year after Steven and the Stevens, Steven would have to be 12 for a majority of Season 1. Of course, with Steven's birthday being at the tail end of Season 2, we've had plenty of movement in time since then. Now, according to Rebecca Sugar, Steven's birthday is August 15th, the same birthday as her brother, Steven Sugar, who Steven is based off of. This will place a majority of Season 3 at the end of August, as a majority of Season 3 was aired in the summer, labeled as Steven's Summer Adventures, and if memory serves correct, this was almost four years ago, but this was meant to intentionally line up with the show, backed up with season four taking place in the fall, with episodes such as Gem Harvest, which obviously was meant to take place around Thanksgiving. Season three taking place in August also explains why Same Old World has some leaves turning, implying that fall was on the horizon, but we still have plenty of summer-centric episodes afterwards. That being said, while I'm sure a lot of the mid-season four episodes took place around the spring, severing the episodes from the real-time airing schedule, I do believe the events at the the end of season four did take place around April or May, which of course is when they initially premiered in the United States. And I would argue most, if not all of season five takes place over the course of early summer, with Steven and in Peridot attempting to plant sunflowers in the prime kindergarten, flowers that typically bloom during the summer, and of course they would want to stay in season, Petey managing his own tater tot truck, I imagine he does attend school, so managing his own small business makes sense in a time where he would have no other commitments, campfires such as in the question, and an outdoor wedding and reunion. United. So if the end of the original series did take place in June or July, around the time these episodes premiered, I would argue it checks out, but at the very least, these episodes took place in May. Why? Because Steven vs. the Movie takes place two years in the future, introducing us to the time skip. And we know Steven vs. the Movie takes place at the end of May, due to the poster for the Sadie Killer and the Suspect show, labeled with a date that reads May 21st. All of the events of the film took place a little bit over 24 hours, assuming the diamonds came a little bit after sunrise, so a little less than three months 
also stand in between Steven turning 17. That brings us to Steven Universe Future, which again, has been frequently jumping forward in time. People are claiming Steven is 17 by Snow Day because, well, there's snowfall, implying August has been long gone. But at this point, I want to indicate why the narrative is pointing towards Steven turning 18, so let's begin to look at that line of thinking. First things first, Little Homeworld has completed construction, Little Homeschool is up and running, and with Little Homeworld being 83.7 complete in the movie, I'm assuming it would take a month or two to finish up work, but if anything, I think Steven was already 17 at the beginning of Future, if not on the cusp of that age. We can assume that Little Homeschool was in its first quarter when Steven healed up Cherry Quartz. Now, depending on where you live, while you could go back in the beginning of September, it is common for schools, especially universities and colleges, to start at the end of August. Steven was still eating meat and guidance evidenced by his pizza, but it's snow day he claims he's been a vegetarian for at least a month. And even before that, he had to shoot a new commercial for Little Homeschool in the episode Bluebird, which could have been for the start of a new quarter, perhaps the second quarter. Because in snow day, not only is there snowfall, but the third quarter of Little Homeschool has begun. If they are going by that traditional school system, the third quarter would have been January. Again, Steven would have already been 17, but January? Time's flying by. However, only a few episodes after Snow Day, we reach Little Graduation, which sees Little Homeschool's first graduating class with the off colors. Now, what's interesting about this is that when it comes to college, people usually graduate at the end of the first semester, aka two quarters, or the end of the second semester, which would be four whole quarters. Typically a graduation in April or May. To jump from the start of the third quarter to a graduation, that means a full year of Little Homeschool has been complete, bringing Steven once more to either April or May. And just as he was in the movie, only a few months away from another birthday. Considering we're only 10 episodes in future, and they've clearly already jumped forward a significant amount of time, I truly think we're due for one final birthday episode in which Steven turns 18 years old and is declared a full-blown legal adult, which would certainly be accompanied with intense angst. And considering Steven Universe has been running for over six, seven years, it makes sense that they would want the story to reflect that. The show was on TV for almost seven years? Well, that means Steven as a character would grow for almost seven years. It worked with Adventure Time, so of course it can work with Steven. I'm gonna be very emotional when this boy grows up, but hey, if we get anything after future, Steven in his 20s? I'd be kinda down for it. But considering the demographic of the show, even if the audience is growing up with Steven, I can certainly see why Future could be the last animated series. After all, age can be forever in comics. And I don't know how Cartoon Network would feel about an extremely late teens, early 20s pro tag. Granted, again, Adventure Time is coming back, but who knows if this Lance is only gonna be four specials or something more beyond that. But as always, I wanna know what you guys think. How do you feel about Steven almost being a big, strong man? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at at Ryan Table Vids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Ostrich Vox. We are also on Instagram. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. Help learn to grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, signing out.